What are the characteristics or the qualities of people that are hungry? What will it take for me to get some of the things that I want? Is there something that you know you need to be doing? Not something that you want to do or something that you think you should be doing, but something that deep down inside, you know that you need to be doing. There are 24 hours in a day. If you're not finding 30 minutes to work out and to invest in your own health and in your own body, you need to take a minute and sit down and look at your priorities of how you're prioritizing your time. The human brain is designed to take the path of least resistance. And people are creatures of habit. So whatever habits you make for yourself, you become the amalgamation of those habits, whether they be good habits or bad habits. So ladies and gentlemen, I wanna challenge you to take a deep look into the habits that you've created for yourself. Because by consistently adding new habits to your daily regime, you will slowly eliminate the bad habits because you will run out of time. If you keep adding good habits to your routine, you will run out of time for all the bad habits. So consistently add great habits to your daily routine. And you will begin to see your life change in ways that you never thought possible. Let me share something with you. Anyone who has a goal, and it doesn't matter what that goal is, it could be a relationship goal, it could be a financial goal, it could be an educational goal, it could be a health and fitness goal. But anyone who has a goal is starting at point A. Now, some people's point A is a little further along and some people's point A is a little further behind. But every one of us is starting from our own particular point A. And the goal that we're trying to achieve and the goal that we're trying to reach would be point B. Life is not fair. No one in life has a straight shot from point A to point B. It just doesn't happen. Life doesn't work that way. So what you have to do is, you have all these obstacles in the middle. You have detours, obstacles, things that get in the way, problems, problems that need to be solved. But every time you solve one of these problems, you move a little further down the line closer to your point B, closer to your goal. Now these things that come up, some of us do one or two of them and quit. Oh, it's too hard, I can't make it. And then there are others who may do five or 10 of them, or maybe even 20 to 100, and then they quit. But there are those who continue pushing, continue pushing over and over again. And those are the people who never give up that make it to reach their goals. Now all these obstacles and things are in the middle. When people quit, those are just excuses of why they couldn't continue going down that path. It may be the path of least resistance, but it's not the path that will lead you to your goals. So keep pushing and keep solving those problems so that you can make it to point B. Practice don't make perfect, practice make permanence. This permanent, y'all, this is permanent. You can go wherever you want to go from here. It does not take talent. You don't have to be talented, right? You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to be the quickest, the strongest. You don't have to be the most intelligent to get to where I am. That's what you got to do. You just got to grind, though. What I want you to do now is I want you to think back to a moment in your life when you were facing something challenging, something difficult. Now you might not have known how you were gonna do it. You might have been frightened, you may have been nervous, you may have been intimidated, but you didn't let any of those things stop you. You found a way to push through once you started going. You found a way to get what you wanted. And some of our greatest achievements come through moments of boldness, moments of courage, and we say enough is enough. And we just do, we just start acting. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take this moment of victory in any other moment in your life that you overcame a difficulty. And I want you to put them into a mental first aid kit. Now anytime in life when you're feeling down and depressed and alone, and you're feeling like there's no one there to help you and you don't know what you're gonna do to overcome these challenges and obstacles, and anytime that you're struggling or you're going through something hard or something difficult, and you don't know how you're gonna get through, I want you to pull out this mental first aid kit. 
And I want you to think about the times in your life when you were overcoming difficulties. And I want you to think about all your victories. If you ever get beat, you better get beat by somebody that's just that's just purely more talented than you are. You better not ever get beat by somebody because you beat yourself. You have to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. Now, I was never really a very good student in school, but one thing that I've come to realize and experience has taught me the hard way is that everybody has their genius. Everybody has that thing that they're good at, that they excel at. Think about an eagle, an eagle in the sky. It's a genius. But in the water, it's no more of a genius than a dolphin is. Now a dolphin is a genius in the water, but on land, it's not more of a genius than a cheetah. So if you think about it, everybody has their genius. People that excel in school, these people are usually people that excel linguistically, mathematically, logically, rationally. These people excel in school. They have this type of genius. But you have other types of geniuses. Medical genius. And these are the type of people who excel in professional sports. We also have musical genius, artistical genius. These people wow us with their talents and creativity. Not only Picasso, but we have all type of people who design advertisements and architectural design and anything that you can think of that's artistic. There are so many different types of geniuses. We even have people who are technologically advanced and a genius in the technological field. Uh, you have gaming geniuses, people who are just geniuses at the gaming industry. And these people create a nice living out of it and provide entertainment for many other people. So it's up to you to find out what your particular genius is. What is your area of expertise? And what do you have a passion for? And it shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks. Whatever you have in your mind that you want to do, you should give 110% and go for it. Push everything you have towards whatever it is that you want to do. You know, it's funny, I was thinking about a story I was reading about Ray Kroc. He's the guy who bought out the McDonald's brothers and franchised the business and took the company worldwide. And he was saying that when he was younger, during the early 1900s, during World War I, he was underage, so he lied on his contract, on his application form, to enroll and enlist into the service. He said that on the weekends, when they would go on leave, they would go to the bars, they would go out drinking and hanging out, and. Uh, having a good time with the ladies, meeting up with the ladies. They said there was this one weird guy who, he was a bit strange. He also was underage, so he lied on his application to get into the service. And on the weekends, everybody thought he was strange because while everybody else would have a good time, this weird fellow would stay back into the barracks and he would draw cartoon characters. Nobody really understood why would this guy stay back and draw cartoon characters while everybody else was going out to have fun. They said this weird guy's name was Walt Disney. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It doesn't matter what anybody else wants to do or if they think you're weird or strange or they're not understanding your vision. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you have a clear vision of where you want to go, what you want to do, and what you want to be. And you give every bit of your effort towards it. No matter what anybody else thought, Walt Disney had a plan. Everybody want to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do.
listen to me, say, be phenomenal, this is it. I want you to chant it out, this is it. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. Last time, one, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. That's my time, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.